In this scenario, you'll be watching the improper use of communications with the use of questions between the doctor, patient, and nurse. Hi. Hi. How are you doing, Casey? Good. How are you? Good. So what brought you in today? I feel that my asthma inhaler is not helping me with my breathing anymore while I'm exercising. Okay. I'll let the doctor know and she'll be in shortly. Thank you. You're welcome. Casey's in there today with breathing problems. Okay, great. I'll go see her now. Great. Hi, Casey. How's it going today? It's going good, but I'm having concerns about my breathing. My well, could you be using your cue bar inhaler properly? No, I use it every time before I exercise. Okay, well, are you taking any other medications? Yes. Do you think cue bar quick relief is probably not the best option? Would you want to try the pill form? I don't know if I feel comfortable taking more medication. It may react with my other meds. Well, can you at least try this pill? Because I'm doing research on the effects of this medication, and it would be a lot easier for me if more of my patients were prescribed to it. Well, I guess I can try it, but I'm not really comfortable with it. Okay, great. Well, here's your prescription. I'll see you in two weeks. It was nice meeting you, Casey. Thank you. Nice meeting you. In this past scenario, you have watched the following types of questions. The first one, non-therapeutic use of questions, which involves advisement purpose, which is the use of questions to give advice. Interpretive purpose, which is the use of questions to interpret rather than asking for clarification. And self-disclosure, which is the use of questions in which ways to disclose about self and how you are affected by the patient. The second type is question formats, which is close-ended, which relies on short or one-word answers. In this scenario, you will be watching the proper communication with the use of questions between the doctor, nurse, and patient. Hi, Casey. Hi. So what brought you in today? I feel that my asthma inhaler is not helping me with my breathing while I'm exercising. Okay, I'll let the doctor know and she'll be in shortly. Thank you. Casey's in today because she's having problems breathing while using her inhaler. Okay, I'll go see her now. Well, what seems to be going on? I'm having trouble breathing while exercising. Okay, well, are you taking your inhaler before you exercise? Yes, I am. Okay, well, what other medications are you taking with your inhaler? I'm taking Zyrtec for allergies, Adderall for ADHD, a daily vitamin, and my Q-Bar inhaler for asthma. Well, do you know if the Q-Bar inhaler is quick relief or long term? Quick relief. Well, there are a few different options to help improve your asthma. You can try using a long-term control inhaler or try using a pill form. Which one would you prefer? I would like to try the long-term control inhaler before I try the pill form. We will start you by using it twice a day for two weeks. Then we'll make a follow-up appointment to check and see how it's working. Do you have any questions or concerns? No, I don't, but I'll call if I do, and if not, I'll see you in two weeks. Well, here's your prescription. It was nice meeting you, Casey. Thank have you. Have a good day. You too. In this scenario, you have watched the following types of questions. The first type, therapeutic use of questions, which is collecting information, clarifying, and specifying. The second type is types of questions, which is close-ended, which relies on short one-word answers, open-ended, encourages detail, and multiple choice, which offers options to the patients.